Yo, what is happening, guys, and welcome back to the Let's Talk Finance channel. Yes, that is right. We're back, and as you can tell by the title on the thumbnail today, we will be talking about a potential fight in the influencer box and saying that right now, it doesn't seem like it is going to happen. But we're going to talk about whether we want it to happen or not, and I want you to let me know down in the comments below if you want it to happen or not, and I'm going to give my opinions on the whole thing going on, the whole beef that is right between KSI and Slimmy Slim, the hitman, Jimmy Jim Slimity, as Mom's Taylor likes to call him now. Um, yeah, you know, all this beef on Twitter, I'm going to give my opinion on I'm going to give my opinion on everything I want you to do, Sam down below. But yes, obviously, Slim coming off a win to Salt Poppy, decided at Misfits 12, he decided to go up to KSI, he made these posters, and he decided to go up to KSI and call him out. And, you know, the way concept has been the perfect person to sum this up. He doesn't like the way Slim handles it, and I agree. I 100% agree with the way concept in this case of Slim always made the mistake of he always kept calling out KSI, he always kept saying he wanted to fight him, but whenever it came down to it, he would constantly tell Mams Taylor, tell KSI, I'm just joking, um, I don't want him to hate me, all this and that, and he cared too much about biting the hand that feeds him. And I agree with a lot of people when they say that's one of the biggest problems with misfits is everybody's so appreciative. It's good to be appreciative. KSI Mams Taylor has given a lot of you people a great opportunity um, to get more fans, more eyes, to get a paycheck. They've given you a great opportunity. And it's good to be appreciative, but you also still have to have that competitiveness. Whether you appreciate them or not, you still want to be better than them. Slim should have the mindset of, I appreciate what you've done, but that doesn't change the fact that KSI is the number one guy and I want to be the number one guy, so I want to fight you. And I think Slim ruins his chances a little bit by doing that. But I think Slim's had enough now. He kept backtracking a lot, a little bit because I just don't think he wanted to fall out with Misfits and then not be able to fight on Misfits because there's no kingpin to go to. There's no social gloves to go to. He can't really go anywhere else that's going to pay him a good paycheck. That's going to give him get him under the bright lights. So he doesn't want to fall out with Misfits. And I understand that. But he needs to start calling out. And that's why Slim has decided, you know what, I'm going to start going after KSI, and they've had a lot of Twitter beef. And these are the things I'm going to look at. These are the things that if any of you don't have Twitter, which I'm sure you all do, uh, these are the things you might have missed. KSI and Slim going back and forth for each other. First off, KSI posts on Instagram. A search, I'll put them somewhere on the screen right now. If you search up KSI, KSI comes up. If you search up Slim, it just comes up skinny people. Then we move on to Slim. He posted a picture of KSI being knocked down. And Slim being knocked down and mentioned how he's never been knocked down and KSI has been. Then Slim posts, the only way I'd respect KSI as a boxer is if he fights one of us this year and takes a picture with him and Jake Paul. <laughs> then it continues. Slim claps back to KSI with the search and goes KSI KO. And it is literally just the KO on Joe Fournier where it wasn't actually a KO because he did form it wasn't the proper KO, and then Slim KO, and it shows you I'm knocking out Temper, knocking out Salt Poppy, um, having those great highlights. It continues. When Slim goes, there's a different levels. I'd knock out KSI under three rounds for your right-hand sniper. <laughs> it gets even more when KSI decides to turn around, and he fake hits the belt. So this is one of these things that I'm actually, I think it's a good idea for KSI to do. Now, I never overly understood the whole belt situation and misfits i've already said this i like it but i don't like it i like it for the case of it shows who's the best fighter at that weight class but i also don't really see the point because a lot of people don't really stick to the one weight class especially in influencer boxing and it's all different close weight classes as well like ksi i don't even know what weight class he is i think the highest he's the heaviest he's fought is 183 the lightest he's fought was 170 175 around that but he holds a belt obviously um in a certain weight class and i was kind of always thinking right ksi has his belt blah blah he's gonna defend it now he obviously won that belt in the first misfits event I don't think it was ever on the line in any other one. So it was just a belt that was for KSI. And then he tweeted out. He said, I have enjoyed the honor of being the Misfits Cruiserweight Champion immensely. I have other plans in the pipeline and it wouldn't be fair for me to hold that title any longer. So I'm relinquishing the belt and a new champion will be crowned on the next Survivor Tag. So obviously KSI is now relinquishing this title, which 
if you're going to have a title, I think it's a good idea because it's not really fair, like Cass, I said there, for him to have a title and hold it and not give people a shot because the whole point of you having a belt is for you to defend that belt and prove why you're the champion. And if you just win a belt and then never defend it, you're not really a champion in that sense because you're not defending so KSI acknowledges that and goes I'm going to relinquish it he said the next survivor tag so we're going to get a survivor tag coming up which I'll be excited for but obviously he said that Slim obviously claps back with quotation marks hey Gib Slim is next in line for you Gib I'm retired quotation marks again hey KSI Slim is next in line for you KSI I'm relinquishing the belt damn son and that is obviously Slim saying that you know as soon as I want a Gib, as soon as I was said I was done for Gib, Gib retired. As soon as I wa said I want a KSI, KSI retired. Now, overall, a lot of people are very mixed. They want to see us fight. They don't. There is nothing in this for KSI. We've already acknowledged that. There's nothing in this for KSI. Mom Steeler said it wouldn't make sense for KSI to go from fighting Tommy Fury to fighting Slim. I agree with that in the terms of levels. You're going from fighting a pro boxer to fighting Slim. I agree. There's nothing in it for KSI. KSI is bigger than Slim in every way. That's not a disrespect to Slim. I love Slim. But... He just is. I think Slim knows that. Um, and KSI doesn't need to fight Slim to prevail, where a win over KSI for Slim would be mommy, like fucking huge. So it's KSI doesn't need this fight. Slim, he doesn't really need this fight, but it would be more beneficial for him. So I understand if KSI doesn't want to fight him because he doesn't see it worth it. I understand why Slim wants this fight. Now, me personally, I want this fight. I don't know about y'all, but I want this fight. Because this is the type of thing I want. Because I understand it's not worth it for KSI, all this and that. And I'll say this. I believe if they were to fight today, I think KSI beats Slim. Now, I don't think he wipes the floor with Slim. I think Slim, you know, I think it's a little bit back and forth. Then I think KSI probably either stops him or wins by decision. I don't think KSI dominates him, but I think he wins convincingly enough that we know KSI is a better fighter. Again, not a diss on Slim. I just think that's how the fight goes. So I feel like I know the outcome of the fight. But that still doesn't change the fact I want to see the fight. With Dean and Waleed, now that I've seen the second fight, I think if Dean and Waleed fight the third time, I think Dean puts the beating on Waleed the third time as well. But I still want to watch that fight. If Dean and Waleed fight another 10 times, and I know Dean's going to win every time, I'll still watch the fight those other 10 times. Because even if I know Dean's going to win, it was still such a good fight. Because Waleed could win, and Waleed could literally land the punch. You never know. So it's those type of fights that even if you know the outcome, you still want to see it because it excites you. It is literally Slim has earned this shot towards KSI. Whether KSI takes or not, Slim has earned it. You can't say he hasn't. KSI called out Slim when he first beat Swarms and Pineda. He said, Slim, I want a piece of that. So he called out Slim, and now he doesn't want to fight Slim. He called out Saul Poppy. Slim beats Saul Poppy. Slim has went weight classes above, beat the likes of Ryan Taylor. He's beat the likes of Tom Sinetti, that nutcase. He's beat the likes of Saul Poppy, who is the top of his game, which, yes, Saul Poppy was winning the first three rounds, but Slim came out and knocked out Saul Poppy. Slim's undefeated, never been knocked down. Knocked out, I'm pretty sure, five of the seven people. I think he's fought seven people. He's knocked out five of them. You know, Slim's undefeated. Slim has earned this shot. Whether he gets or not, you have to give him the props. He's earned this shot. I don't think the fight will happen, but it's up to that. But there is one main issue that I want to talk about before I end this video, and it is how Mams Taylor is handling the situation. Now, I do like Mams Taylor. I don't agree with every take he does, but there's some takes I do agree with. I like Mams. Um, but I think he badly, very badly and poorly handles a lot of situations that are involving KSI. Like the whole Wade situation. Now, I'm not here as the Wade defense league. Yeah, go Wade. Fuck Mom Silver. Fuck Miss Fett. I'm not. I don't care. I, t I I say what I think, and that is it. I think he when KSI is involved, Mom Taylor handles it completely wrong because I think Mom Taylor is always biased towards KSI, and there's nothing wrong with that. You're the head of Misfits. You're supposed to be for everybody, but you're also KSI's manager. So I understand you're going to be biased towards KSI. But even if you are biased towards KSI, I feel like there's a way you got to word things. There's a way you got to do things. And this quote that I'm going to take from Mams, where he said, I want to protect Slim from potentially getting knocked the hell out. It doesn't do any favors for KSI to go from Tommy Fury to Slim. And then I'm pretty sure Mams Taylor says KSI has much bigger things in the work. Now, my issue with that is he's saying we want to potentially protect Slim. Now, you saying that is basically you saying, I know if Slim gets in there, he's going to get knocked out. 
but you're trying to make Slim the number one guy once KSI steps aside. But how are we ever going to believe he's the number one guy when you believe he would get sparked out by the number one guy? Because he'll never be able to replace him in that sense as being the number one guy. So you've kind of tarnished that now. Two, saying you'll protect Slim doesn't make sense because the big fighters, you're not supposed to protect them. Usually you're supposed to protect the people that are going to fight the number one fighters because the number one fighters, number one fighters for a reason. So him saying he's going to protect Slim doesn't really sit well with me because I don't like the fact he's literally saying, oh yeah, no, Slim, the guy who hasn't lost a fight, who's knocked everybody out, who's being consistent with it. I want to protect him from that um, and all that. And then the thing when he says, it doesn't make sense going for Tommy Fury to Slim, which I agree with. But then he says we have much bigger things in the work with KSI which is kind of another job at Slim, in my opinion, because you're saying there's much bigger things. You could have just said, we have big things in the work, or something like that, and I think that's fine, but much bigger things in the work makes Slim seem small. And on KSI's spectrum, maybe he is, because KSI is so much. But if you're trying to build Slim up, you can't just keep kicking Slim down. Yes, you back your boy KSI, but that doesn't mean you need to kick Slim down. Just, just say you don't want that fight to happen. Don't go out here and try to kind of tarnish. You're trying to build up Slim to kind of tarnish him down when it comes to KSI. I don't really agree with that. You know what I mean? And I don't know, bro. That's just my opinion. Like, I feel like you're really tarnishing Slim here. You're really putting them down. Slim has earned the title fight. Like I said, whether you give him or not, Slim has earned the right for you to at least give him the respect. Even if you think he's going to lose KSI, even if you're not going to give him the fight, don't say he's going to get knocked the hell out. Just turn around and say, we have better plans for Slim, and that's the way we're going. Don't outlandishly just shit talk him. And like I said, this is YouTube boxing. People shit talk all the time, and that's fine. But I just think as a promoter, you shouldn't be doing that because that's like if Eddie Hearn were to turn around and say he managed two fighters and say he likes AJ a little bit better than he likes this other fighter, and he's like, oh, yeah, no, I like this guy. But, you know, we're focusing on AJ because, you know, he doesn't – he's he's far better – you're Eddie Hearn. I mean, I don't know, because it is Eddie Hearn, but you're not supposed to be doing that. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be like, yeah, AJ has big things to work, but you don't say AJ's far superior to this guy. He's got guys still your guy, and everyone on Misfits is still man still your guy. So that's just, I don't know, bro. That's just my opinion. I don't think they should be doing it. I don't think the fight's going to happen. I personally want the fight to happen. I think it would be great. I like the way Slim is acting now, though. He's not backing down. He's going for it. And I want to hear y'all opinions on the whole situation. Do you think the fight will happen? Do you want the fight to happen? What do you think the outcome will be? How do you think Mams Taylor has handled the situation? Who do you think KSI should go for next? Who do you think Slim should go for next? Because I think if KSI doesn't fight Jake Paul, I don't really care. Because I don't want a Tommy Fury rematch. And unless KSI is going to fight, I heard a rumor that it was Mams Fidel, unless he's going to fight some big name like that, I don't really care. I want to see him versus Jake. So you just can let me know all your opinions down below. This was kind of one to get me back in the videos. I have a couple more lining up, like I said. Maybe a bit later ones that have happened a while ago, but we're going to touch on them either way. But like I said, let me know your comments. Hope you all enjoyed as always. Hope you all are thinking positive. Hope you all have an amazing day. Slim versus KSI. Who do you think wins? Do you want it to happen? Let me know. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. So uh, peace.